Hey there Pisces, welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you Pisces for the week of August 1st. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, I will leave my email address in the description box below. Just send me an email and I'll let you know how that works. So let's see what is going on for Pisces. Conclusions are within reach. I love this. Okay. All right. You're close. You're close to some conclusions here, Pisces. Let's see. Let's get you an animal spirit card. Oh, I saw the phoenix wanted to come out. And the wolf. Let's see. The deer, the octopus, and the camel. Feeling a little overwhelmed, Pisces. I have to say you've got the resources to get through this, but there are a lot of people coming to you right now. A lot of people needing your help, your assistance. And you're feeling a little overwhelmed by it, like you can't handle it all. And uh, But you can. Spirit is here to tell you that you can with the camel, with the resources you have. You have been gifted those resources to help you through all this overwhelmment. Let's see if we can ease some of this overwhelmment for Pisces. There's the bat. So you were, you're flying by the light of the moon here by radar. You're just kind of flying in the dark and uh, seeing what happens. Right, aren't we all? Well, let's see, what is this overwhelming? Let's get you a tarot card. Five of Earth, Five of Pentacles. You are feeling very overwhelmed, very kind of left out here. You're feeling like you um, are sitting in the dark, like you don't have all of the information here. It's on the bottom of the deck, the King of Water, the King of Cups coming in to kind of dip their toe in emotions they're not really kings are not a uh, king of cups is not great at revealing emotions but we've got this overwhelmment let's see knight of swords lots of words back and forth lots of arguing lots of um back and forth i feel i hear words back and forth and it's like you're stuck right in the middle of it pisces why <laughs> queen of pentacles you are stuck in the middle of it, but you are finding some peace in your own little moments here. You're finding little moments throughout the day where you can gather your peace, gather your senses. It does feel very overwhelming. It feels like there are a lot of people around you, a lot of energies around you. And Six of Pentacles, give and take, reciprocity. So the conversation is easy, it's light, but you're feeling very overwhelmed, like you're not receiving all of the information from the conversation. So you're feeling a little bit in the dark when it comes to people and what they're telling you. Uh, but it doesn't matter because you are filled with love and compassion toward these people with these words coming at you and they are um, excited about something they're uh, I don't know uh, upset about something but you're just listening you're just receiving you're not absorbing it you're just listening you're listening to understand what they're saying these people around you so it's beautiful you are sitting pretty <laughs> and you are sitting in some very calm energy you're not letting this overwhelmment get the best of you and get you all tied up in knots and anxious. So let's see what's in your heart space. What's in the heart space for Pisces? The moon. So see, there's that confusion kind of around you. They're not getting all of the information from these people who have come around you and are telling you their story, their side of things. But um, you are merging the positive and the, the negative energy here. It's like you can see a little bit through the waters here at the light, at the truth, and you know that there are two sides to every story. So you are really trying to receive, you're really trying to decipher the information here, but it does feel deceptive. It does feel that way to you at times. So it's like you're getting pieces of the story from the others around you. And it feels like they're leaving something out on purpose. Like you're not just getting the full light of the day here. You're not getting the full side of the story here. And that is making you want to go introspective, making you want to just go sit outside in nature and clear your mind because you're getting, you're, you're trying to be swayed. People are trying to sway you to their side when it comes to their side of the story here. Four of Pentacles, there's information being held back from you. So... Whoever is around you right now, whoever is trying to convince you, persuade you to see their side of it, they they have a valid side here. To them, they are telling the truth. Just remember that. To them, they are telling you the truth. They are telling you their perspective here. 
So merge those energies with what you know to be rational, um, your side here of what you would do, how you would feel and kind of uh, try to merge that knowing that there are two sides, there's give and take to every story here. So um, you're gonna have to walk a really tight, tight rope here for a little bit until these energies can reveal the real truths here because what they're ha what's happening is they're wanting you to see their side here Pisces they're wanting you to see their side but maybe they don't even know exactly <clears throat> where where to go with this truth here maybe they're not getting all the facts themselves and so that's why they're coming to you with with this kind of confusion here and then yet they're like, well, see me, hear me. Can't you see my side of this? And you're just kind of pulling back. You're just kind of holding back, thinking, um, yeah, I do. I love you. I care about you. But I do I do feel like things are missing. I do feel like there's some holes in the, in the information I'm receiving here. So temperance comes in, Sagittarius energy. This is my Archangel Michael card to kind of balance this energy that people have brought to you. Somebody has brought some inks to your to your um, daily life here, to your doorstep here. And so you're trying to kind of sneak away, keep your power here, not upset all sides here. You're trying to stay in the middle. You're trying to stay balanced. And you're doing a really good, <clears throat> a really good job of it. <laughs> but there is toxicity here, Pisces. Somebody is leaving the truth out. You are not getting the full side of the story here. So that is really, really interesting because there is deception here. So whoever is in your experience right now trying to tell you, look at it my way, see my way, look at my pain, see what I've gone through, just know that there's other sides to this. There are other realities. There are other perspectives to this. So don't get too caught up in this story, Pisces. Do not do it. You need to back away from this darkness and this confusion. This has nothing to do with you. Archangel Michael is here with his sword of truth to carve this out. Spirit knows how to do this, how to decipher this, and this will leave you very, very soon. So do not, do not fret over this. And don't get too caught up in it. Just don't get too caught up in it because look at the truth coming in. Look at these messages coming in of truth. There's text messages coming in. There are, There is information that is going to light the way here that is going to be an epiphany for you for sure because you are stuck right in the middle of this and um, there's epiphanies coming in, truths coming in where this, this will leave your, your uh, daily life here very soon because the truth is about to be revealed here. So you hang on there and, and don't get too caught up in this drama, whoever is bringing you this drama. Don't get too caught up in it because you're just a listening board right now. It's not that you have to choose sides here. You really don't have to choose sides here, but there is some toxicity, some confusion on all sides, Pisces. I just need you to know that on all sides, there's not one right story here and there's not one only truth here there are many truths here that people are bringing to you and it's just their perspective it's just how they see it by the light of the moon here it's very clear to them very clear to them of what's happening here and that it's toxic and that it's um goes deep and that it's um uh not right it's not right they're saying to you but all of all all of these uh people have valid points and perspectives so um just know that don't fall too much into one perspective here or go all in don't go all in on any one perspective here because there are so many truths here and so many uh, lies so just be mindful of that nine of pentacles you are reaching for your own truth it's like i i'm stepping out of this <laughs> good for you <laughs> rightfully so what are these words coming at pisces here nine of cups that's wish fulfillment for you so you're just looking for this happiness you're looking for this contentment this happy home this this uh this joyful way of being and you're walking away from your own sorrows you're walking away from your own troubles so it's kind of a shame that these people are bringing these troubles right back to you but it is kind of a good distraction for you. It's helping you to walk away from some of your own woes and some of your own sorrows here. So it is very helpful for the mind space to have this going on around you. Just stay detached. Just stay detached from this one because there are so many sides to this. Ten of Cups on the Two of Cups. Look at this, Pisces. You have really managed to create this happy home, this happy life, this abundance. And then... You just have these people coming in trying to sway you. And I don't understand that because you finally found some peace here and some joy. But spirit always has um, 
um, ideas of how to help you move on. And so this is just one of those ways to help you move on this toxicity, this deception, this confusion that people have brought to your doorstep here. But um, just stay a little bit detached from it. Listen to everyone and just know that there are there are many sides to the truth. Emperor comes in, Aries energy, to say, you are really bossing up now. Now you're taking the lead. You're like, you know what? I've been through a lot here. I need you to step off just a little bit. Just back up a little bit and let me have some peace here. I understand your side. I see what you're saying. I get it. But I've been through my own things and I need to kind of just sneak away here and um, get some peace. I need to go back into nature, get some peace. I need to sit outside and, and get some peace here for a minute. So leave me be for just a minute. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, you are getting offers. You are getting some clarity on this confusion as well. You're getting some light on this confusion. And let's see what this deception is. What is this Seven of Swords coming to? Pisces coming to confuse Pisces. The Page of Cups, that is more information being offered to you. More truths. What else? Anything else on the Seven of Swords? No, so Page of Cups coming in. That is the truth, but it's still kind of fishy. It's still kind of, uh, no pun intended with that fish in the cup there, but it's not, uh, it's not, you're getting bits of truth. See, this is the, the confusing thing here. You're getting little bits and, and pieces of the truth here. So there's just like this block here. There's something here that's really blocked on what the truth is, and they're like, the source of this truth, but they're blocked on what the truth is. They're confused themselves. So, so Pisces, I don't see that this is your confusion to have. I really don't. I really think that this is just something that you need to um, disconnect from. Two of Wands, you're planning this future. You're planning travel. You're planning on this new life of yours, this new stepping out and really getting your dreams coming true here, really finding that Ten of Cups here. And this emperor energy here where you're confident, you're feeling good about yourself. You're finally having a grip on where you want to do. What do you want to do tomorrow? Where you want to go tomorrow? And then somebody brought you this confusion with all these twos, with all these decisions and, and sides and ideas. And uh, yeah, there's a sense of ur urgency here as well. And I'm not even understanding what that is. But um, so somebody is trying to make you, trying to influence you to choose a side here, and there's a sense of urgency to this, and I'm not sure why. I think it's just, um, really, I really do think it's egos popping up here. I really, that's what I'm seeing is everybody has got their ego and pride up here, and um, you're just sitting back trying to make everybody happy like Pisces does. So. Uh, yeah, I guess you just keep doing that. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, there's definitely a sense of urgency here. Definitely um, choose me, choose my side. Can't you see? Um, we have to figure this out right now. There's no time. There's no time to waste. Just make the decision. Take the blindfold off. See it my way. See it my way. And there's a lot of that. So hmm, just kind of back away from this, Pisces. Uh, I see that it's... Uh, it's really bringing you down it's really it's really stressing you out the devil on top of the devil what is this toxicity in your foundation there are people around you that are literally bringing you toxicity pisces and you need a break from that you need to find this happiness you've been through too much to really deal with this kind of um toxicity and deception here so just wait for this information to come through just wait it's coming to you very very quickly what is this new information coming Pisces. The Empress. This is Taurus energy. This is Libra energy as well. This is balance. This is um, seeing all sides of it. So the truth is definitely going to come in. You're going to get some information that shows you all sides of this story. And it's going to bring some real, real clarity for you. Knight of Swords. It is going to bring in a little bit of harsh words on their way uh, on their way to telling you this truth. So they're getting a little frustrated that you're not seeing it their way, that you're seeing other sides of it. So um, it's okay. You're just taking you're just taking the Uber out of there, your water Uber out of there. I can't get involved in this. It's too toxic right now. Come back to me when you've figured some of these things out, when you've seen some of the light in the situation. 
And that's it. That's all you can do, Pisces. That's it. Don't let this affect your daily life. Don't let this get under your skin because they're just fighting it out. Just let them fight it out. Just step back and from this divide. Let this work out on its own. It absolutely will work out on its own. Your cup is filling over with emotions, with happiness, with joy, with Ten of Cups energy, with Empress energy, with Emperor energy. You have contracts to fulfill here you have things you need to do here for the people that have been there for you have been in your life every day have brought you happiness and joy and not all this stress and drama so those are what you need to focus on and get rid of this just disconnect I guess is the word I want to use just disconnect if you can't get out of this and you have to sit there and listen to these sides if it's at your workplace or it's um in your home life or wherever this is just remove yourself from it listen but you don't have to get involved just disconnect from this situation just a little bit because it's really making you feel overwhelmed with the octopus and the deer you're feeling very jittery here very jumpy here because you're it's just too much it's too much really too much so ease up on this a little bit let's see if we can get an angel oracle card to give us some advice on these people who are uh, really button heads around you the ocean, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. I love that. I need to go to the ocean. Can I go with you, Pisces, and get away from all of this? I love it. All right, but do imagine yourself at the ocean. Imagine the waves in and out you know just ease and flow just ease and flow Pisces this will work out people will work this out they'll understand each other they'll get to hear each other I don't have to be a part of this I don't have to be in the middle of this I don't have to choose a side I don't have to choose I don't have to choose I can just ease and flow and let this work out so I know this is what you're going to do and you're going to do it so gracefully and beautifully and you've got the stamina you've got the resources you've got the power to to just remove yourself here you don't have to be the judge and jury here so all right Pisces uh, if you like this reading don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and if you'd like a personal reading uh, I will leave my email address in the description box below we could really sort this out and give you some deeper deeper advice here all right thank you so much I hope you have a fabulous week